Welcome, welcome to the Virtual Vascular Lab YouTube channel. My name is Bill Schroeder. I'd like to thank all of our subscribers and the feedback that we've gotten so far. We really do appreciate it. You know what day it is, Technical Tip Tuesday. I'm going to show you a case of a dilated popliteal vein. And actually, I would really like some feedback on this one. So I'm performing a venous insufficiency study yesterday and came across this popliteal vein. We've had some discussions about the Rouleau formation. Man, oh man, I just get mesmerized by looking at this. I could spend a lot of time. Very cool. However, note the size of this popliteal vein, rather dilated, particularly if we compare that to the distal segment. So, would you classify this as aneurysmal? So, is that a venous aneurysm? Well, the definition of venous aneurysm is somewhat controversial. Uh, I have heard it expressed as similar to an arterial aneurysm, that is one and a half times the adjacent artery, and this may fit with that. However, I've also seen valve sinuses that probably result in a one and a half time dilatation compared to the adjacent segment. And you certainly wouldn't want to hang a diagnosis on a patient with a prominent valve sinus. We can compare to the contralateral leg. In this case, it's certainly one and a half times the contralateral artery, but I'm not sure I would classify this as an aneurysm. Mostly we got to ask, well, how large is too large? I'm open to suggestions. Please let us know. I would note, however, that the larger the vein, the valve cusps are probably pulled further apart and more likely to exhibit reflux within that vein segment, which in fact this patient certainly did. You can see the distal compression and almost two seconds of retrograde follow, flow following release. And as we just kind of look at the rouleau moving through this popliteal vein one more time, again, I'd like to reiterate, I'd like to get some feedback on what you feel constitutes a venous aneurysm, or does a dilatation of this size put the patient at any increased risk for development of a venous thrombosis? Hope you appreciate today's technical tip. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, and it's getting towards the end of the year. If you need any CME, you know where to get it, virtualveincenter.com.